Hey friends, Tom Wiley here. Just wanted to jump on and let you guys know that we are going to be in Marshfield, Missouri tomorrow, which is Friday, August 26th, and Saturday, August 27th, for the Ozarks Homesteading Expo. We're really excited to be there and um, meet any of you that are there. So um, if you're coming, keep an eye out for me. Um, if you don't know about it yet, go check out their website. If you just search for Ozarks Homesteading Expo, I'm sure it'll come up for you. Um, you can buy tickets. I think they're 20 bucks per adult right now and $30 at the door if I'm remembering correctly, but don't quote me. Go to the website, check it out, buy a ticket. Um, I think kids are free. I think it's only 40 bucks for me and my wife going because we're buying tickets ahead, of, bought tickets ahead of time. Um, so anyway, if you don't know about it, go check it out. There's a lot of fun speakers there, a lot of cool stuff. I'm looking forward to Brandon Sheard's, uh, the, home, the uh, what is it, Meat Smith, Farmstead Meat Smith. Um, he's doing a demonstration of processing a hog. So I'm really excited about that um, and a bunch of other stuff. So there's lots of speakers. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting some of the folks around this area that I've been getting to know online, but I'm going to actually get to see in person now. So that's really, I'm really excited about that. Um, so hope to see you there. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. I'm working on a, an easier way to move our paddock system. We've got our, um, poly braid wire there. So I've made a rack sort of following, um, Greg Judy's design that he puts on his four-wheeler, but I'm putting it on the trailer of a riding lawnmower because that's what we have. Um, so I've got two reels set up so I can put out a sheep wire and a, and a cow wire at the same time. This is just, you know, some pipe welded together so I can double stack two reels here. It's nice and sturdy and, um, Makes that easy. I'm also gonna make a rack here to hold our step-in posts. So I can have a whole pile of step-in posts here within reach. So I can sit here on the tractor seat, reach my left hand back, grab a post. Um, potentially, I can have the wire up with me and kind of pre-thread it, step in the post and then drive forward. But if not, I can step in the posts and then play the wire out while I'm driving, then I can go back in and thread the wires onto the posts. If I have another person working with me, then it'll go even more efficiently and easily. I also want to make probably a, some sort of a rack or at least just two stakes back here, posts, that I can bungee rolls of um, electro netting to. So I wanna be able to you know, have a, a bundle of that and strap it to the side here so that I can, I'm trying to keep my bed open-ish. So the kids can ride in the back here. Also when we do milking, I can put milking stuff in here. So it's just gonna make it so I'm not, I'm not constantly having a pile of stuff in here and then piling stuff on top. So that's what I'm working on today. Other than that, we've got a bunch of seed company stuff going on today. I'm working with Azure Standard Co-op, um, which is, one of the um, big distributors of our seeds. And then we also just sell directly over our website. Um, if you're in the area and ever want to pick up seeds locally, go down to Thayer, Missouri to the Farmer's Daughter, um, a little store that she's started up there. She sells Berkshire um, pork is their main deal, but then she's also got this store running where she's stocking a lot of natural and organic and crafty homemade kind of stuff. A lot of the sort of natural stuff that's not available much in this area as of right now, she's getting a pretty good stock of that stuff going and um, has quite the nice little place going. Kristen is selling our seeds in her store there. So if you need something local pick up, local to the Southern Missouri area, head over to the farmer's daughter in Thayer, Missouri. So I'm gonna get back to cutting and welding here, try to get this done so we can go move the animals so they can be set up for being in a spot for two days while we're gone. And I will hope to see you at the expo. Catch you later.